welcome welcome back to mama joan house where it's hot and when i said i don't know what i mean it hot like a scotch bunny pepper today guys i am doing a long time favorite yes. for my granddaughter jada yes guys you know guys today i'm making some chicken parmesan she asked me to make this this food for her she's been craving and dying for it because it's been a long time no it's been it's been a decade to been, be exact it's okay it's been a decade to be exact since i haven't made it so i'm gonna make a chicken parmesan mama joan style yes okay because mine's different from everybody else one. okay guys so guys before i go any further i want you guys to like subscribe hit my post notification bell so you don't miss a post when i post and guys i am going to dive in the ingredients guys i am making this chicken parmesan but the twist to it is that i'm gonna make my own sauce so jada is gonna help me to make the sauce they don't like to deal with meat cut up meat and stuff like that so i'm gonna have her wash the tomatoes cut up the tomatoes and then we get into doing the sauce so i'll be right back at you so guys we wash the tomato so here is the tomato so jada is going to cut up the tomato yes. and then i am going to do the onion and the garlic okay yes sir yeah you could start um i'm wondering if you need a shop probably are you okay with that? One? I prefer the sharper one. Okay. Do this one. See on that one. It's bigger, bigger too. Yeah. So guys, I'm not really a tomato girl. But like, if it's a pasta sauce, yes. If it's on a burger, yes. But if you try to make me eat a tomato by itself, absolutely not. <laughs> no. Well, she don't like tomato to eat it all, but she will eat a... Uh, she will eat the the sauce. No, eat it in the food. But the food, like she will eat it in a spaghetti sauce, a chicken parmesan, you know. Like she will like she will eat it like that, but she's not going to eat a solid piece of tomato. No, I don't think no wrong with that. But that is she. And I am making this dish for her because apparently years ago. A decade ago, yes. when they were younger, I usually make it. I cannot remember make it and feed her what she what? said. Honestly, when 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 Kira was telling me, but Kira said to me, Grandma, you need to make some chicken parmesan for Jada because she's She's dying for it. You're, you're cooking all these food, but you're not making none, none of that for her. The only thing I can remember is, I remember when Joseph them was younger, D'Angelo. When they, oh my gosh. I thought it was, the the, oh no, this is the garlic. That's in your eye? I thought it was only onion that's burn your eye, but garlic also burn your eye too. Wow. Oh. That's a first for me. I can sort of like a technique yeah. for it to not burn your eyes. So guys, this is like five cloves of garlic I'm chopping up here. There is a technique they said to make it not burn your eyes, but honestly, I don't know I don't that know technique. technique either. I don't know that technique, so I guess we're gonna just continue to take the burn in our eye. I'm doing the chicken. No, I'm, I'm gonna do the chicken. I'm gonna prepare the chicken after we cut up the onion and the garlic the tomato for the sauce mm -hmm. then after that then we're gonna do the chicken after so guys i put uh, uh, i put some butter in there like more like a three tablespoon of butter so that's the butter so now i'm gonna put the onion we're gonna put the garlic in and then the onion Put some garlic in there. I'm gonna chew a little bit of olive oil so that you put it in so that it don't burn. Yeah. 
sauteing the onion let it get a little soft yeah let's give it a little softness So while Miss Jada is working on the, the tomato sauce, I am cutting up some Greek basil and some regular basil to put into put into that. I'm telling you the Greek basil it have a spice to it and it just have a nice aroma. I like to plant it and grow it because it's very 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 tasty especially when you make tomato sauce or spaghetti sauce with it for me tomato sauce spaghetti sauce one is more thicker one is richer but it's practically the same ingredients really at least for me you know so this now i'm gonna put this in there and then you guys can get have a look see so guys, I'm going to use some obe in there. I'm going to use some oregano, little spicy pepper melody, and my garlic plus, you know I like this, and a little thyme. Mm -hmm. So now I'm going to put half a teaspoon of each one of the seeds, each one of the powder season I tell you about. Half a teaspoon of adobe, half a teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of spicy pepper melody, and half a teaspoon of obe, uh, not obe, sorry, uh, garlic plus, all right? And uh, half a teaspoon of salt. So guys, this is what it looks like. I put a half a teaspoon of obe, a half a teaspoon of oregano, a half a teaspoon of spicy pepper melody, and a half a teaspoon of garlic plus okay so this is what it look like so i'm gonna cover this up now and let it swim and make it go and boil and then after it boil to a ice then i'm going to puree it okay not puree i'm gonna puree puree so i'm gonna puree it okay guys so i'm gonna just cover it and let it just wash before i did that i need to put a piece of scotch bonnet pepper in mm -hmm. here so I'm not gonna kill it because the pepper them is very hot. I'm gonna put in it. And I'm not gonna put no seed. Yeah. But, but it don't have no seed, so it won't okay. be too hot. It will just have the flavor. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh, this smells so, so nice. I told you it smells mm. good. The aroma. The aroma. Oh my gosh, it is so die for. It is the one. This, as I said, everything that I make is to make you want to slap you. Your papa? Yeah, you want to slap your papa without slapping no mama up in here. So I'm going to cover this now and let this simmer. Take your time and cook. So we're going to cook this for about an hour. But it done did do about... 15 minutes already or 20 minutes already so the next the next 25 minutes it should be ready because I go puree and go back on the stove okay so all right so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go get the, the meat together I washed the chicken already so guys the sauce is cooking so now I'm gonna do the chicken now I'm gonna get you one gloves you don't want the gloves, you good? Okay, so I'm going to just rinse this off. Get this out of here. When I wash my kitchen, guys, it doesn't spread no bacteria in my kitchen. I wash mm -hmm. my kitchen and when I'm done, I use Comet with bleach and scrub out my sink and everything. 
and that's it. So I keep my ear clean and I do it with everything that chicken touch. Some of them I put in my, like my these ones, my my mats, I put these in the dishwasher. So them get well sterilized. Okay. Oh, so I'm gonna cook, cook the chicken like that. And then I'm gonna season it first mm -hmm. before we put it in the what is that we have there? The breadcrumbs. breadcrumbs. I'm, and I'm using Italian breadcrumbs. I think grandma was Italian in her past life. Because yeah. <laughs> her chicken proper job is exquisite. <laughs> I can taste it already. It's just that with my kids, my when the kids them was growing up, for some reason them never like um, my kind of food, my Jamaican food. They didn't like it when they were younger, so I had to find other food to feed them. But when them get older, guys, oh my God, I can I can selfish them fight for that. Them usually said, Grandma, Mommy, I don't want none of that yellow thing. They used to call Aki scrambled egg. Me. Yes. Me. I was definitely one yeah. of them. I, don't, they, still, I still am. Yes. They don't, they don't want no aki and saltfish. No. Them fight for it. No, they're saying you have too much in your plate and I don't have enough, you know. On the Chris, Christmas time? Lord, oh, God. have mercy. Why, why are your plate so full? <laughs> yeah, it's like them cannot get enough. And for, for a set of kids that never used to want to eat it, it surprised me that them... Eat it so much now. I wash my hand here now. Then I'm gonna clean my sink. I clean it already, but I'm gonna clean it again because I got to put the knife from the chicken in there. Okay, so now I'm gonna sprinkle some seasoning on the, the chicken. And you know what? I'm gonna get a gloves for this one. I'm gonna give you this. We we'll just use we just use this, pick it up, and we'll do it in the breadcrumbs. After me season it, don't mm -hmm. put some seasoning on it first. Use some garlic, some garlic powder. Some melanie, what? Himalayan. Some Himalayan salt. Himalayan salt, guys. Himalayan salt, turmeric, and um, aloe vera oil is a great scrub for the skin. <laughs> Remember, I told you that. <laughs> great scrub. What? They tell them again. The man. Himalayan salt, mm -hmm. turmeric, mm -hmm. and aloe vera oil. Mm -hmm. It's great it's exfoliation for the skin. Okay. It's gonna look bright. Okay. So guys, we not only do talk doing food thing here. We're doing skin thing. Mm -hmm. Guys, she's telling you what she used on her face. Cause that's what she used on her face. You know. Okay. So we do that. Mm -hmm. Let me this. I'll get you another one. Give it a stir so that it's it not stick into the pot. Okay. It's bubbling. I can hear it bubbling. A bubbly a bubble. bubble. And a trouble it a trouble. It's just bubbling, sweetheart. Okay. So now I'm gonna bring this over here and put this in the breadcrumbs. So Jada. Put this, put two of them. Let me turn this on. Get the pot going with it. Oh, put, put two of them in the. Yes, just. So, guys, this is the chicken. And we are going to give it, we are going to give it 10 minutes from both sides, okay? So guys, the chicken is ready. Here it is. So now I'm gonna put the cheese. You need on. more than that? Yeah, I'm gonna put the cheese on top. Mozzarella cheese. 
we we'll put it on top of the chicken. Yeah, this is okay. Cut them two pieces then too. Okay. So let's put a piece here. And a piece here because them part them breasts are big. Let's put that there. Let's put this here. So we go. Okay, so now guys, we're gonna get the sauce. This is my sauce and peri period. <laughs> Always turn out to be orange than red because it's a homemade sauce. It's not a store bought can sauce, it's just a sauce that made from fresh. So uh, it's hot, so that's why it is like that. Oh steamy. So I'm gonna pour some of it now on this. Coming together, it's all coming together. I'm getting flashbacks. <laughs> to get a chunk of skin at it. See, it's a, a different look. I said this tomato here, and this is what I marinate. When I marinate it, this is what it look like. So that's it. And then I'm gonna put it in the oven on 400 for. 15 to 20 minutes to the cheese melt, okay? So grandma, when it comes to cooking, do you think that only women should be the one that's cooking? Or like, should the men be in the kitchen and cooking as well? Like, does it matter well, who cooks the dinner? It doesn't matter who cook the dinner. You know, when you guys was growing up, you guys used to see old granddad. We used to leave work early, and because he's doing driving, he used to cast, come home, start the mm -hmm. dinner till I come. So when you have your spouse, it doesn't have to be a woman job where woman just cook. Woman could cook, you and your husband can cook the meal together. And that's what it is. When our husband is very considerate and caring and all of that, he can cook the meal. Mind you, some man can cook, but anybody can learn to cook because anybody can. It's very easy. Cooking is very easy. Cooking is like a heart. Uh, you know artists is good painter or whatever you have good artists and you have not so good artists and you have you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. the cooking is like art so for me your granddad can cook everything he can cook chicken he can cook oxtail but he don't like to do it but if i said ari i need help you don't come help chef up, chef up, chef up in the kitchen as you know so guys the eve over not come up here but i'm gonna put this in there you know what i don't want this to melt Oh, the, the thing I don't trust that. <laughs> so I'm going to take that off and I'm going to put this in the oven. Alright guys, so now we have the noodles boiling. Mm -hmm. And come up right here. And we just added a bit, a bit of salt in there. That's mm -hmm. it. And the we Oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my gosh. Guys, we just took it out the oven. It looks so good. Grandma really outdid herself. Mm -hmm. So guys, as you could see, we take the chicken parmesan out of the oven, guys. This is what it look like. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna have it with some fettuccine noodles. And guys, I've now come to the end of my video yes. and I want you guys to like, subscribe and hit my post notification bell so you don't miss a post when I post. Yes. So Miss Jada here, she's going to get her first taste after a decade yes. since I've made this dish. Ten so years. Ten, oh, yeah. ten years. So she's going to get her taste. She had Miss Cyan. So I'm going to play two plates for the both of them now. One of this, this for the noodles, and I did not make any garlic bread and I did not make any salad with this for them. I am so sorry. That's okay. okay. I appreciate the time and the effort that grandma puts into the food. You can tell, like, 
You made natural, <laughs> fresh snow can <laughs> sauce, <laughs> our puree, everything. <laughs> But this is how I like to feed them. Okay, so let me get you a breast, nice thick breast, mm -hmm. and then I'm gonna have to put some, get some sauce. Urban Sai, aka Sai, aka Sayan. <laughs> Do you want Parmesan on yours? Urban Sai, aka Sai, aka Sayan. Beautiful, beautiful granddaughter. One is a decade, and one I think is the first she's gonna ever eat chicken from a jam that I made because I've never made it for her before. So, guys, okay. dig in and tell me what you think. Let me get some chicken in the bag. So guys, there you go. Like, subscribe, and hit my belly. Things as I said, mm -hmm. so you don't miss a post when I post. Cause my granddaughter going to enjoy them dinner, mm -hmm. and they're enjoying it. So bye, guys, and we we'll see you in the next video. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs>